now there's a shop called zobi sports which buys a t-shirt from a factory for 2400 rupees so cost price of zobi sports is 2400 rupees and they sell it to the customer for 3000 rupees so the selling price becomes 3000 rupees so we know the cost price we know the selling price we can find the profit so profit would be selling price minus cost price which is 600 rupees similarly we can find the profit percentage also so we define profit percentage as profit upon cp into 100 so this becomes profit we know is 600 rupees cost price we know is 2400 rupees times 100 six fours are and four 25s are so this gives me that profit percentage is 25% so i get the profit percentage for zobi sports so we get that the profit percentage is 25% Now Zobi Sports wasn't too happy with this profit percentage. They wanted a profit of at least fifty percent. So they wanted that the profit percentage is fifty percent. But the factory was selling it at twenty four hundred rupees. So what price should they sell it to the customer in order to gain a profit percent of fifty? So they want profit percentage of fifty. We know the cost price. All we need to do is find the selling price. now let's come back to the formula of profit percentage and try to see whether we can find the selling price from it so we know profit percentage is profit upon cost price in 200 selling price does not come here anywhere in the picture so now i want to introduce selling price into this so what i'll do is i know profit is selling price minus cost price so what i'll do is i'll write profit as selling price minus cost price so this is what i get profit percentage is selling price minus cost price divided by cost price in 200 now i can divide both these terms by the cost price which is the denominator so this would give me sp upon cp minus cp upon cp this whole is multiplied by 100 so i get sp upon cp minus 1 cp by cp dividing same numbers gives me 1 times 100 this is what i get profit percentage is sp upon cp minus 1 whole times 100 so this is what i get next what i can do is this whole is being multiplied by 100 so i can bring 100 to the other side i can write it as profit percentage divided by 100 is sp upon cp minus 1 i can say this now if i add one on both the sides the equality would not change so what i'll do is i'll add 1 on both these sides if i add 1 here sp upon cp minus 1 plus 1 so this becomes sp upon cp only what about this this becomes 1 plus profit percent divided by 100 so this is what i get now i can take the lcm here 100 as the lcm so if i make the lcm as 100 this would become 100 plus profit percent so 100 by profit percent becomes equals to selling price upon cost price so this is what i get that is the ratio of selling price to cost price is 100 plus profit percent to 100 this is what i get now i have this this is what i found what did i want to find i wanted to find the selling price i knew the cost price i knew the profit percentage and i wanted to find the selling price now i can do that simply what we can do is multiply both by cost price or i can cross multiply cost price here and i would get selling price to be 
cost price times this entire expression which is 100 plus profit percent divided by 100. So I get this. So I get my selling price as cost price times 100 plus profit by 100. So this becomes my selling price. So now let's come back to the question. Zobi Sports wanted a profit of 50% and the cost price was 2400 and we want to find the selling price of the customer. Now the selling price would be, we know the formula now. So I can easily substitute in this. I can say that the selling price would be equal to cost price is 2400. Hundred plus profit percent is fifty. So hundred plus profit percent is fifty upon hundred. This is what I get. Twenty four hundred times hundred plus fifty by hundred. Now this is equal to twenty four hundred times hundred plus fifty gives me one fifty by hundred. So this becomes so this becomes twelve hundred times three, which is thirty six hundred. So I get that the selling price would be thirty six hundred. Selling price comes out to be thirty six hundred. So now I can say that the selling price is thirty six hundred rupees. So to get a profit of 50%, Zobi Sports should sell the t-shirt which cost them 2400 at a price of 3600 But now what happens that the customers are not ready to pay so much price for this. So they were not paying more than 3000 But Zobi Sports was determined to get a profit of 50%. So now the customers were not paying more than 3000 So this becomes the selling price. But Zobi Sports were determined for a profit of 50%. So what they do is they try to negotiate with the factory to decrease the price at which they are buying these t-shirts. What should be the cost price now? How much should they negotiate with the factory? How much should they ask the factory to give them for such that they get a profit of 50% if the selling price is 3000 rupees? So what we know is the selling price we know the profit percent. We want to find the cost price now. So we know selling price by cost price is 100 plus profit by 100. Now if I reciprocate both these terms, the equality would not change. So I can say this as CP upon SP. That is, I reciprocate this. This would be equal to reciprocal of this also. So this becomes 100 divided by 100 plus profit percent. So this is what I get. CP by SP ratio. Now I can find cost price. So now cost price would be nothing but SP. Taking SP here which is the selling price. 100 divided by 100 plus profit percent. This is what I get as my cost price. So remember this. Now let's come back to the question. How much price should he ask the factory person to give, it, give him the t-shirt for? Such that he gets a profit of 50% when we know that the selling price is 3000. Again applying this formula which is cost price is selling price into 100 upon 100 plus profit percent. We know the selling price is 3000. And we also know that profit is 50%. So this is what we get. Now this becomes 3000 times 100 divided by 150. So again.
20 and I get three zeros, two followed by three zeros. So this becomes my cost price. So the cost price becomes 2000, that is the cost price here should be 2000 rupees in order to get a profit percentage of 50%. So remember that selling price by cost price is 100 plus profit by 100. If you remember this, you can easily find the selling price. Multiplying, cross multiplying, CP here. And similarly, reciprocating, you can find the cost price also. So easier way just to remember this formula. How I remember it is, if there is a profit, then the selling price would be CP plus profit. That is if CP is 100. SP would be 100 plus profit percent. So that's how I remember that SP upon CP would be 100 plus profit by 100. So that's just a small way to remember this. If you remember this, then you can find both SP and CP. So knowing either one of the two, you can find the other. That is if you know cost price and profit percent, you can find the selling price. If you know the selling price and profit percent, you can find the cost price.